salmon stocks in several of our rivers have been declining, although no one is fishing them. There's basically no more wild salmon out there anymore. We're lucky if we get them when we do go out for food fish. Salmon go extinct, we're extinct. We've come up with a flotilla of boats that are all supporting the removal of fish farms from Clackwatt Sound. So all of these boats and the people on them want to see a healthier Clackwatt Sound without fish farms. There's more and more boats joining, so it's getting more exciting by the minute. This is really awesome. I, I'm, I'm really stoked that there's such support for this. and nobody's fishing our waters. They're killing our wild salmon. The sea lice infested, fire spreading salmon farm. I think they're getting the message that they're not welcome anymore. I don't believe that this is a healthy environment for wild fish. My heart is just incredibly full. This is amazing that so many people from the community came out. We have business owners here. We have families with their children. Our voices are being heard. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is one of the last untouched wilderness on Earth, and it is right here where those salmon farms are being placed, right in the home of the wild salmon. And it is very important that the voice of the people that live here are heard, and that the world knows that they don't want those farms, that they want their wild salmon to be safe. We're not trying to say, we're telling them to get out. It's not too late yet, we still have time. Not too much time, but we, we have this. Often we set these timelines that are really far in the future, but right now we don't have time for that. And it's totally possible for the fish farms to be gone by this time next year. The more people on board with protecting our oceans, protecting our water and our wild salmon and our ecosystems, the faster we can get these farms out.